Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 6 NFL recaps and analysis. This video is for the game between the Carolina Panthers and the Minnesota Vikings, which was played in Minnesota. And, you know, the Panthers really thumped the Vikings today by a score of 35-3. to uh, You know, as it is for the Panthers every week. Their defense, it seems now, has developed the reputation and the consistency where they're always going to be in games due to their defense. But how does Cam Newton play? And today Cam Newton was fantastic. 20 for 26, 200, over 240 yards passing, three touchdowns, very high quarterback rating. Uh, he was magnificent today. He's what you expect from the number one overall pick here, uh, his third year in the league. Uh, he's been talking about how he thinks he needs to develop more consistency, and he did that today. And you saw on the defensive side of the ball, you know, I know everyone's going to point to the fact that, you know, Matt Castle isn't that great of a quarterback anyway. Well, that's not what people were saying two weeks ago when he had a pretty good game against Pittsburgh. So let's give the Carolina defense some credit. They made Matt Castle look like, you know, Matt Castle, okay, a, a guy who's, who's an average NFL quarterback, a backup quarterback, and they made him look like that today. Give him credit. Um, I really like what you see up front from this Panthers defense, and I think it's starting to make the back end of their defense look better, which I think is key for them. Minnesota, again, with this Matt Castle performance, uh, you know they have no faith in, in uh, Christian Ponder, obviously. That's pretty clear with the acquiring of Josh Freeman. So does Josh Freeman now get in the game a lot sooner? Do we see what he has a lot sooner? considering the Vikings are now 1-4, and four, the Panthers now run their record to 2-3, and three, but the Vikings, look, they couldn't get anything going on offense. Their defense was 30th in the league coming in, so you knew if Cam Newton didn't shoot himself in the foot, he'd be able to put up some numbers. Cam Newton, while he's very unpredictable, uh, he was good in this one, and uh, you know certainly the best player on the field, um, at least from what I saw. And uh, you know you saw Minnesota's defense get beat on a big play early by Steve Smith. You also saw... You know, the, the Minnesota defense sustained some injuries to Harrison Smith and guys like that. So just all in all, you know, a tough week for the Vikings, uh, given what happened later in the week to Adrian Peterson's uh, son, which is just a tragedy. And he had a rough game, understandably so. I mean, I, I can't blame him if his mind was elsewhere today. Uh, he runs for only 62 yards. Uh, the Panthers defense has been good against the run all year, and they did so again here today. So... Moving forward here, we'll see if Cam Newton can develop some more consistency. And again, I think the big question for Minnesota is, does Josh Freeman now take the reins from here for a 1-4 and four team that's really um, looking to uh, put these first five games behind them? Guys, let me know what you thought of this game. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week, and I'm always talking the news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.